Hello and welcome to another mount video here with Mimioni for Final Fantasy XIV. This time around we're looking at the top reward you could say from the 5.11 patch from the Ishgard Restoration Project. This is the Ufiti mount, also known as the Gorilla or Harambe by his friends. You can get this mount from the Firmament of Ishgard for 8,400 Sky Builder scripts, which you can acquire from collectible craft turn-ins at the Restoration. 8,400 scripts is quite a few to collect, however you will note on the tooltip of this mount it doesn't say market prohibited, and so you can indeed buy this mount outright from other players with gil, which might either be a really bad idea or a really cheap method depending on your server's economy, and it's definitely worth jumping around the servers on your data center with world visit to check out which is the cheapest. So for mount then, summon forth your Uf Feety may carry you to high ground for your own safety. Having survived a call of its kind by bloodthirsty adventurers on its native diadem, this Ufiti mastered the art of riding the winds, that it might set forth on a journey to find a worthy leader. Despite its brawn, it possessed a surprisingly delicate touch, and just as well it does. The hidden text reads, The stronger drawn to strength, a quote there of Ewain. The mount is by every definition the same as the skeletons of the mounts from the rival wings mounts, those armoured gorillas, and this is essentially an unarmoured version of that same model. And quite honestly, it's even more hilarious to me to just see a normal gorilla fly through the air with no jetpack or anything, and I think most people will find the way that this moves to be rather humorous, especially if you were new to the game and the first thing you saw was a flying gorilla. I never really got the opportunity to get the armoured versions from Rival Wings, so this is my first look at this model, and I have to say whilst I'm not immediately a fan of gorillas in general, everything about this thing is just brilliant. The aggressive looking face there, the movement of his arms as you walk around, and the precarious placement of your character in his hand there, it's quite a lot of fun, I think you'll agree. It's not the most glamorous mount in the game, there's a lot of flashy ones we have from other content, but this does pose the opportunity for more generic monster models to be remade as mounts, which is something I campaigned about last year and a bit of this year as well. It's a really good idea to repurpose some of the monster models, and clearly has some hilarious results if it's done properly. The mount music unfortunately is generic flight music, I would have personally liked something a bit jungly, maybe even the diadem music, I don't know, but unfortunately nothing happened this time around. The fact this is another market saleable mount however is quite good, there are many great ways to make gil in the firmament's reconstruction, and this one is perhaps less lucrative than the other methods on offer, or at least it is on my server with it costing about 3 million gil for a gorilla, which doesn't sound like the true cost of 8,400 Sky Builder scripts, but I'm sure this will actually carry quite a bit of weight into the future when people are doing this content much less, much like with the Eureka mounts which are now worth a fortune these days because the content is less relevant. I quite like this, it's not my favourite mount by any stretch, but I'd like to see more mounts like this like I say, and in the future we are indeed getting an Ochu mount which I cannot wait to get my hands on. Either way, let me know if you've got Harambe yet, if you've added him to your collection, if you plan to farm this and maybe sell it, or if you are actually one of those people that bought it with Gil after seeing the required turn-ins to actually get that many scripts, and uh, I don't blame you for that. Either way, thank you kindly for watching, and I'll see you all next time.